So, Rumi, what are you trying to do? I'm trying to um, make an apple. Uh, there's paper and make that apple burn so that there's um, a hole in the paper and it's like the drawing on, of an apple because graphite is so we're using graphite very thick graphite because graphite is um, not a flammable material but a combustible material so um, so it's not as quick as a flammable material when you put a magnifying glass like we're going to do but yeah. it still um, can set fire quite easily. So what is the magnifying glass going to do? So it's going to um, make a focal point from the sun. Okay. It's going to make a focal point and that focal point gets warmer and warmer because it's taking all the heat from the sun. And then it gradually gets warmer and warmer. And graphite can help it... Um, Graphite can help make it um, make burn the paper because um, it's, can, it's it's almost a flammable material. So what's the difference between flammable material and compostable material, like you were saying? So a flammable material, it's it once you put it in any heat, it just sets fire, and a combustible material, it has to be. Um, quite hot, more hot, for it to set fire. Both of them can be used um, for things like this, but um, flammable is easier to um, burn. You want something that is controlled? Yeah. And like that's graphite. why you're using graphite? Yeah. And the graphite, where did you get the graphite from? A pencil. Right. Okay. So why are you putting this green thing around it? Um, so it's so it's basically when you put um, the the magnifying glass on, it starts to burn the paper, and the paper just spreads in different directions. So you need a material that can stop the um, the paper from burning around the, um, the certain point that you want it to stop. So we're using um, what material is this again? A pencil. This pen. Mm, that's just a color pencil, isn't it? Like, um, I don't know what material it is, but water. it's a liquid water-based yeah, li color. Yeah. Water-based. Okay, yeah. Water-based okay. material. And that's water. not flammable, so basically yeah. stops the paper burning into the apple because you want a full apple. So we're using um, green so we can color the whole apple so mm -hmm. it looks like an apple. Right. So would you be able to do like an apple uh, that is the Apple iPhone if, if they say you should do an Apple iPhone uh, logo? Yeah. Would you be able to do that? Yes. Okay. But let's do the Apple first so you can see whether it's, your theory works. Because we don't know if it's going to burn into the green area because you don't want it to burn into the green area that's why you're putting the green area there isn't it yeah okay okay you have to make it green mm -hmm. because it looks like an apple one also you have to make it a water-based material because water is non -flam is a non-flammable material so it's it's better to have a water-based green or red color okay um for your apple in the middle Okay, it looks like this section is going to take longer, so I'm going to stop the video. When you're re ready, um, okay. then, so people don't waste time watching this. Um, so see you back in a minute. Alright, FA, I see that you're doing, you're working hard. What about, what are you doing here? Um, I'm burning paper with the mic. So you're using the power of the sun? Yeah. So you're concentrating all the energy of the sun into a piece of paper. And I can see that that is burning really well. So what are you making with it? I'm making a mask. That looks like a scary mask. What are you going to call the mask? 
I haven't really thought about it. Okay. So do you want to think about a name that you're going to give it? So there will be other kids that want to learn from this experiment. What are you going to tell them that you're doing? And why is that, that black line on the piece of paper? Like a pencil. What was that black line doing? Um, this is that scrapbook on my pencil. Mm. Well done. So I'm going to come back to you once you're.